When Brigham Young started sending people into southern Utah, into St. George, one of the things that he did not count on was that people would start leaving because it was so hot here and it was so desolate that a lot of people struggled being here. And so they started moving. They started moving into Pine Valley. They started moving to New Harmony, to Parowan and Gunlock area because they didn't want to stay here because it was so hot and it was a struggle. The Virgin River also caused a struggle because of all of the flooding. They had a hard time with that as well. And so he decided to keep people in Southern Utah and he wanted people here because he wanted it as a military strategy that he would have people on this end of the territory as well as on the north end of the territory. He also had it for a stopping away station, a place where people could stop and rest before moving on because he did have settlers in California. He also had people in Nevada. And so he wanted people on this end of the end of the territory, but he couldn't get people to stay here. So he decided one way to get them to stay here was to build a tabernacle. And the first, and what they did with that was they came out here to this quarry, which is where I am. This is the, there's the monument right there. This is the tabernacle quarry. And they started getting stone from this quarry, chipping off the stone, chiseling it, and taking it to build their tabernacle. He wanted people to build a tabernacle because he felt like it would be a sense of community and people would have a reason to stay. He also did the same thing with the LDS temple. Uh, after the tabernacle was built in 1876, um, but he started production also on the temple as well, and that was built in 18, finished in 1877. But those are the reasons why those two buildings were built, is to keep people here, to have a sense of community and a reason to stay. Um, and the temple and the tabernacle were very important buildings for the LDS people. Now, uh, the tabernacle was used for um, church services, but it was also used as a public works building. It was also used as a courthouse before the courthouse was built. And in this quarry, the, uh, the stones from this quarry were to help build the tabernacle, but also to help build the temple and to build the courthouse and many other buildings in St. George. So I wanted to kind of show you, let's see if you can see back behind me right there. Those are some chippings from chipping piles from original chipping piles from uh, where they would just after they got done chiseling they would just throw the rest into that pile and so those are the chipping piles back there so if you come out here you can see those a little bit better um, you can also still see the original chisel marks of these people which is kind of cool so i wanted to come up here quickly and um, show these to you let's see use here all let's see there we go chisel marks so the chisel marks of these people you can still see in the rock today um, which is pretty cool these are the original chisel marks and apparently according to um, according to people who were out here they said that you could tell which person uh, chiseled the rock based on the chisel and that they had and the grooves on the chisel you could tell obviously I can't tell but people would know which people um, which stone cutters cut these rocks so kind of cool all right so it is uh, it's a kind of it's just a small hike to get out here it's not very long at all kids can do it uh, so if you want to come out here with your families after we get done with the uh, quarantine going on uh, and the social distancing but there's nobody out here today so maybe if you come out early enough you can get out here by yourself and you won't have to worry about other people um, and being six feet away but this is a really kind of a cool place it's not doesn't seem to be um, as well known as the Temple Quarry Trail. The Temple Quarry Trail is up behind the D and the Black Hill, which is a pretty cool uh, place to go as well. And that's where they got the basalt rock or the lava rock that they put in the foundation of the temple because Brigham Young, he said he wanted the temple right where it, right where it was. He said, we are building our temple here, but it was a swamp and so they needed something to make the foundation so they hauled basalt rock from back behind the black hill they hauled it all the way back down to where the temple is now and they pounded it into the ground with a cannon to get the foundation for the temple so out here in the tabernacle quarry and the i guess temple quarry um 
as well as the courthouse quarry where what they did with all of this they also used for the temple but then on the temple quarry trail you can see the black rock and you can also see the original chisel marks as well which is really cool so you should definitely go and check that out sometime i hope you guys can all go to these different places that i've that i'm going to be posting and that i have posted because they are pretty neat so have a wonderful day dftba